Let's take a look at some of the new audio features of Filmora 12. First thing we'll need to do is add something with some sound to it. Let's put our opener in. And listen to it. Now that you've got some audio in the clip, we can go over to audio and look at all of the features. Auto normalization. If your audio, if your audio is up and down like right here, it goes up a little bit. Let me expand that so you can see it. Okay. You can actually hit this button right here and there you go. It sort of normalizes, tries to average out the decibel volume of the entire clip. It makes it all pretty normal. You can adjust your overall volume. So if you have a microphone that's too far away from you or something, you can just uh, type it in or move the slider. If you have an effect or you need a sound to the left or to the right, you can simply do that. Fade in, fade out. I think you know what that is. We'll set the cursor right about there. And as I scroll across, you can see that this uh, faded out line here, that's the fade in the music will start low and then build up to the normal and of course fade out would be for the opposite end of your music track where it fades out and scroll down a little bit you can adjust the pitch if you're looking for a um, robotic type voice or something like that so that went pretty low pretty high. Tucking is a feature that I use quite often. So if you need to lower the volume, so you put a second clip up top and you need to lower the volume of the first clip, you can hit auto ducking and then make some adjustments to it and it will drop the clip below, drop the audio down, the level down to whatever setting you set it to so that you can hear some speech or whatever on the upper clip. We have our equalizers. You can adjust all of these and you can also just simply go to custom and click on setting and make your own. This is AI speech enhancement. Uh, I've actually used this in one of my videos where my audio didn't come out quite right and it cleaned up the speech. Uh, I think it did a pretty good job. Uh, wind removal, pretty straightforward. There's no settings on wind removal. It just does its best to remove it. Normal denoise, um, if you got some kind of noise in the background, you can adjust it. It does work. D reverb, so if there's some kind of reverb going on, it'll take it out. So you hear that clip right there? <coughs> it took the reverb out. I'll take it off. You can hear it again. It's very subtle, but you can hear it in there. And uh, these are really neat right here. Uh, hum. So if you got like a refrigerator hum or something like that. In the background, uh, you can help to remove it. And then finally, there is hiss removal to help you remove any kind of hisses um, that may have picked up inadvertently in your mic. So you can adjust these. Now, I do want to scroll back up a little bit and show you that some of these have the little diamond, which means you can keyframe these. So you can keyframe the volume level throughout. And as you can see, when I clicked it, I got a little diamond on my line there. So what I'll do is um, raise the volume there. And then we'll scroll it over. And we'll lower the volume back by clicking again. And you can kind of see how the lines go in here. So you can adjust your volume by using the keyframing tool. And we'll just reset everything back down here turns it all off. So these are the tools that you can use with Filmora 12 to help adjust your audio. All of the regular tools that came with the previous version of Filmora are still there. You can still go here to Audio Mixer. You can do your audio and your video. You can do stereo and surround. And of course, you can adjust your master volume over there.
quick little demo for you. I've uh, dropped a little clip here, a little audio clip of a record scratch. Now I've turned it up as loud as I can. You may need to turn your own volume up for this one, but let's hear what that record scratch sounds like. All right. Now, let's see if we can clean that record scratch up a little bit. Uh, what I would do right out, right out of the gate would be to go for hiss removal. So let's listen to it before we even make any settings. Well, that pretty much did it, guys. That, that did it right out of the box. That record hiss is gone. And that's how easy it is. Now, if you had a more severe hiss or a different tone of hiss, you could adjust these and tune it and get it uh, pretty much exactly where you wanted it. And that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you real quickly these uh, really cool audio tools. Uh, you know, as a vlogger, a video maker, um, you're often in a situation where you just can't control the, the noise background, the, uh, the wind hissing through your, your microphone um, or some kind of machinery or whatever. So Filmora has added some tools here to help us correct some of that. Uh, nothing is perfect in this world, you know that, but anything that helps is a good thing in my, my mind. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you soon on the next Filmora video.